Okay, exercise 10 will make you feel really good about yourself when you get this right, or it'll be a forehead slapper if you get this wrong. So much of it is given to you. $1,000 is deposited into the bank the day a child is born. In other words, you're starting with 1000 In other words, A, the first term, is 1000 And $100 more than the previous deposit is made each year until the child's 18th birthday. So D is 100 It goes up by 100 And it goes on until the 18th birthday. So how much is there in total? In other words, what's the sum? So here's something that you've got to know. And this is the part that you're, uh, if you get it right, you're congratulating yourself. And if you get it wrong, you're crying. The series looks something like this. And it goes on and on and on until we don't know where. And we want to find the sum of that series. And uh, we don't quite have enough information to do that yet. We do know that D is 100. There's 100 between each of these, which is good stuff. Here's the thing that will confuse you. This was done at birth. This was done on the first birthday. This was done on the second birthday etc etc so term one was given on the zeroth birthday the actual birth term two comes on the first birthday term three is on the second birthday so when we get to the 18th birthday as you can imagine that is term 19 19 terms and you're you may be tempted to just mindlessly say 18th birthday there must be 18 terms but that would be forgetting about the first term here. And this happens constantly. So you have to be, uh, have your wits about you and realize that there are 19 terms. Once you've realized there are 19 terms, choosing the correct tool from your little toolkit here is easy because we're looking for a sum. So it's gonna be one of these two. We don't know the last term, so therefore it has to be this one. And plugging the values into this is uh, relatively easy. The only thing we don't know is the sum. So we should get numbers for everything in here. So go ahead and do that, and we'll see if you get the same answer I do. Okay, so we're using this formula here, sum of n equals n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. And we can plug in all those values because we know them. We know there's 19 terms. 2a is 2 times 1,000 or 2,000. And n minus 1 is 19 minus 1, so 19 minus 1 is 18, 18 times d, and d, the difference here, is 100 every time, so that's 1800. And there we are. So that equals 19 over 2 times that, which is 3800. And if we uh, go ahead and uh, divide by 2 here, we actually get 19 times 1900, which equals 36,100. And that's your answer.